night for many of them, sure. uh, Jen. Thanks. We'll check in later on in sports. Well, meantime, runners who use the Oak Leaf Trail south of Milwaukee can breathe a sigh of relief tonight. Cudahy police have arrested a man they believe is behind two attacks on women joggers. Yeah, but it turns out they're not going to be charging him with the crime they expected. Our Jenna Sachs live in Cudahy at the police department there to explain. Jenna. The man has been in police custody since Wednesday afternoon. He hasn't been charged yet, but the arrest alone is comforting to those who use the trails. I'm happy and relieved. An arrest by Cudahy police brings relief to those who use the Oak Leaf Trail. That's really good because then you can use the trails again and not have that in the back of your mind. Police believe they've arrested the man behind two attacks on female joggers. The first attack happened in Warnemont Park at 5 in the afternoon back on August 9th. The second happened on August 24th around 9 p.m., that time in Bayview Park in St. Francis. In both cases, the suspect attacked from behind, knocking the women to the ground. Both joggers freed themselves, and the suspect ran away. Police say it was a tip from a citizen in Warnemont Park Wednesday that led to the arrest. We'd like to commend the citizen who was aware and alert that something didn't look right to him. The suspect is a 25-year-old Hispanic man from Milwaukee. Police initially thought his intent was sexual assault, but after interviewing him, found a different but motive. As the investigation evolved, we did determine that it was the motive was robbery. Yeah, I haven't walked on trails um, probably for about two weeks now. Tess um, Wilkowski knows one of, of the victims. She told me she basically was attacked almost during dusk. It was still light outside. Wilkowski's friend told her she's grateful to another jogger on the trail who scared the suspect away. She's doing well, a little shaken up still. Um, she's definitely not running alone anymore. Police aren't releasing the suspect's name yet because he hasn't been charged. They expect those charges will come tomorrow, and they are expecting two counts of attempted strong arm robbery. Reporting live in Cudahy, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. Jenna, thank you very much. A Milwaukee man was shot in.